All right, guys, and so uh, this is part two of the basically basics of your enlargement journey for beginners. And so let's go ahead and get right into it. So how, how are some routines, okay? There's a lot of crap on the internet. I'm gonna give you like the most briefest, like point by point. It's up to you to do more research to see what's, what's right for you, okay? So length, manuals. I have a whole video on manual stretches, how to do it, why to do it, et cetera, okay? What are the pros of doing manuals? Well, a manual stretch is just physically, you're just using your hands as the tools, okay? So there's no device. I think they're easy and I don't think they require much time. 30 minutes a day can be enough, okay? Like I said, see my video on it. What are some of the cons? Well, I unfortunately, have a lot of guys that are overzealous and they say, I'm going to do manual stretches and take their D and just yank it and cause nerve damage because they're not doing it carefully and they don't watch my videos saying, do a slow and chronic tension. You're not yanking it. You're not moving it while you're yanking it. You're just doing, you're just gradually pulling and increasing the pressure. Okay. So you can be prone to injury with this. So if you're going to use manuals, be very careful. Okay. Next is an extender. What are some of the pros? It's safe. There's without a doubt the most clinical science behind it and it's effective. It works, guys. What are some of the cons? Well, if you use the noose, which is like basically a silicone strap that wraps around the head, you can cause nerve damage that way. If you use a vacuum cap, you can have blisters. It typically requires several hours a day, at least on the medical studies. It's somewhere between three to six hours of constant use. And some extenders are quite frankly, very poor quality, okay? Especially some of these like cheap, crappy, like Chinese noose extenders, okay? By Chinese, I mean manufactured in China very cheaply. Another option is hanging, okay? Hanging is where you literally will like basically secure or weight to your penis and drop it down, okay? So what are some of the pros? It's effective. I think it's safe. You can know exactly what weight you are using, what tension you are using, which even some extenders you don't know with, that what force they're actually pulling with. But what are some of the cons? Well, you're literally dangling a weight off of your phallus. I mean, that to me has some inherent risk right there. And then, you know, similar things. If you're using compression hanging, sometimes you can have too much compression along the glands. If you're using vacuum hanging, um, you can have a blister, okay? But in general, it's safe, it's well tolerated. And then there's something that's called an all-day stretcher, commonly abbreviated as an ADS, okay? Um, that's something like uh, commonly referred to as like the phallus and forte. And it's, you literally will like, you know, secure it to your phallus, usually with some kind of vacuum cup, and you will basically attach either a stretch down your leg or like around your waist and you will apply a constant typically low pressure like throughout the day or even the night okay I think with the phallus on it's like recommended use for up to eight hours a day okay so what are the pros in general it's very safe and also there is medical literature saying it's effective however it's typically in patients recovering from things like prostate cancer surgery okay and it is FDA approved I believe for that reason so what are some of the cons? Well, I actually looked into this and you know, even things like you're wearing it at work, okay? So here, that's a pro right there. You can wear it during the day because it tends to be discreet, but imagine having to like unstrap this thing to pee. And you know, I drink a lot of water throughout the day to try to stay hydrated. And I can't imagine like every hour, which is a, you know, sometimes the rate at which I pee, having to like unstrap this thing and then strap it back on. You have to wear it for long durations for growth. I haven't seen very much at all anecdotal evidence of people saying that they actually gained any significant length from it, okay? I know a lot of guys that use it, but nobody that's been like, I used the phallusan alone and I gained X amount. And then I've also read stories that it's embarrassing when people actually notice. Um, like even I've seen on different subreddits like, like r slash sex or something. And it's like, you know, one of my coworkers, I could see a strap like leading from his D. So anyways, it might not be as discreet as you think it is, okay? So that's the main things for length. So what about for girth? Same thing, there's manual techniques like traditional jelking or even uh, like a modified delt jelk or a diamond jelk. Basically, you're using your hands to basically manually force blood into the different chambers of the penis. So what are the pros? It's cheap, okay? Historically, it's actually been effective as far as there's been guys that have gained significant size from jelking. So what are the cons? It's hard to get right, very injury prone, especially if you're using traditional jelking. I know a lot of guys that have broken their Ds by doing traditional jelk, so I don't recommend it. Personally, I don't recommend either, but I haven't dabbled much in it, okay? So take that, don't take what I'm saying as the, you know, the, the doctrine. Look into it yourself, guys, okay? There's also pumping, okay? You can have a water pump or you can have an air pump or you can get like a high quality pump that has a water trap, like, ah. So here's what we have on peak male physique, but you can see that like you have this trap that catches the water and you can use this alone with air or you can hook this up here and you can use water, use both, okay? So um, what are some of the pros? I think pumping pound for pound, undisputed, 
heavyweight champ of PE, just period. I mean, you're not going to change my mind with that. And so I think it's very easy to get right. It's you're, it's hard when you use a high quality pump like that to injure yourself. And you can have things like increase. This is medical literature showing that it can increase your erectile quality, okay? Help you recover from injuries. So what are the cons? If you get a crappy pump, like a, the typical bath mate that you just put it on and kind of jam it into your pelvis, you can really injure yourself because it doesn't regulate the pressure well and there's no gauge. And so you can reach very high pressures very quickly and injure yourself. And so they can also be expensive. Like the bath mate, the highest quality models, like $300, $350, far overpriced, okay? So clamping is next. And so clamping is when you literally will either with your hand, with like a cock ring or with an actual like cable clamp, um, like this actually like occlude the pressure um, and increase like penile pressure forcing the chambers to dilate okay so what are the pros I'm not going to argue with anybody that says this is the most effective means for girth as far as like one of the most efficient as far as like time to results I'm not going to argue that girth is one of the most effective it doesn't take much time it can be effective however I personally, and through my coaching, I have seen a lot of guys that have injured themselves with clamping because I believe this is extremely hard to get right. It's hard to keep pressure in the penile chambers. I think it's hard to like not kegel under pressure, which can lead to injury. So I think that this is a high risk, but also a high reward type of situation. I would recommend that only for advanced people. I do not recommend anybody start off with clamping, okay? For completion purposes, what are some of the brands? Okay, guys, do your own research. There's a lot of different brands. It's all over our subreddit. I believe there's even like a recommended brands page. I have no affiliate codes. I don't get any kickback from any of this stuff with the only exception of I am a business partner of BD who has the peak male physique, guys. Okay, that being said, uh, hanging. Far and above, the best compression hanger that I've seen is male hanger, okay? And largely that's from customer service and high quality product. I know the owner Ben very well. He's actually been on one of my lives. I'll try to like put the link up there, okay? For vacuum hanging, there is actually a vacuum hanging kit on peak male physique, okay? Well, I don't know what I did with the vacuum hanging kit, but um, it's a high quality kit. If you're interested, they are available there. For extenders, the most hyped PE device I've seen since I came onto the scene is the Apex extender on massive novelties. I am like buddies with um, with Perv McSwerve, but I you know I don't know him personally. I have no business venture, but that seems to be a very high quality. A lot of like veterans with a lot of experience use it and have liked it. Um, as far as pumps, I just showed you the pump we have at Peak Male Physique. High quality, has a gauge, you can get a water trap with it. Highly recommend and it's the best, you're not going to find a better price. Bathmate. So you want to avoid the basic model bathmate. You want to avoid this model here guys, okay, because this is crap. You press it into your pelvis, it shoots out the water, you're going to make, you're going to hurt yourself with this. I bought this when I was stupid because I watched Derek's video and I didn't know, know any better, okay. There's also other brands like Le Love and Mustang, but they're going to be, you know, very overpriced, okay? Any YouTube reviewer that you see, so you see something on here and then you type in, oh, on YouTube, I want to go find out about uh, what any, people lie, guys. They give you like BS reviews and then they say like Alpha Male, Alpha M, whatever that douchebag's name is. He has a new video about the bathmate. I guarantee you there's an affiliate code in there because he's like, I gained an inch and a half in 60 days. Like bull crap, okay? So just be careful watching YouTube reviews about any of these devices. Even this dude Basim, um, you know, he has been talking crap about BD, so I, I really don't F with that guy. Um, and on top of that, he ghosted me on uh, Reddit, so I super don't F with that guy. But, you know, uh, personally, I think he's low-key kind of a scumbag and has like all these affiliate codes and whatnot. But So just be careful with all of that, okay? Enough for the throwing shade. What do I think is the best beginner routine? I think it's getting a high quality, either extender or probably compression hanger. If it were me, I'd probably go with an extender, okay? But you know, do what you feel is best for you and probably basically a total of 60 minutes of working time with basically three 20 minute sets. Okay, max, especially if I'm starting out, I'd probably do even less than that and work my way up. And then for girth, I would use a pump. I would get a high quality air pump with a gauge to start off with. Air pumps are much more forgiving. And I would start off with maybe, you know, one set of five minutes and then gradually work myself up to three to four sets of five minutes. And I would always start in out going in um, flaccid and then gradually work my way up till I'm going in erect because I do think going in to the chamber erect is what's going to be the key to actually getting gains. So what are some of the common injuries? Well, some of the minor injuries are things like discoloration, bruising, it's actually hemosiderin staining. Your pressure pulls out the blood, blood kind of deposits there, deposits iron, which leads to that staining, okay? Doesn't affect your 
erection quality or anything like that. It's just a cosmetic thing. You can have temporary numbness. You can have a decrease in erection quality. You can have a blister that forms, especially if you're using a vacuum pump, a uh, vacuum cup, or you're pumping for too long. And you can have lymphatic issues. One of the most common things I see, it's like um, a little spaghetti noodle underneath your skin that you can feel it. You got to be careful because if, if you're not aware of it, you can actually become permanent and you might have to get surgery to remove it, but it doesn't impact function whatsoever, okay? Some of the more major injuries are hard flaccid, okay? If you're interested about learning more about hard flaccid, I have a whole video about it. I'll link it below, but it's a constellation of symptoms, including like erectile dysfunction, nerve dysfunction, pelvic floor pain, and a like small shriveled flaccid. You can have pelvic floor dysfunction. I also touch on this in my hard flaccid video and in my like stop kegels, and you can have more permanent nerve damage that actually affects erection quality, and you can actually have fibrosis, which basically means your penis remains non-functioning for so long that the tissue actually scars down and become fibrotic. You can also get Peyronie's disease from this, where like a permanent like bend in the penis if you're not careful. What are the necessary supplements for starting out? Well, you can have a citrulline-based supplement. Of course, I would recommend you know, Vigor, you know, our product here, specially designed for that. But, you know, do your research, figure out what's best for you. If you haven't seen my video on why I think Vigor is the best and why I made it, um, you know, please check that out. But that's the only, that's the only like hard supplement I would recommend, okay? What do you also need to do? And, and by hard supplement, I mean a citrulline-based supplement, okay? It doesn't have to be Vigor, but a good citrulline-based supplement. You also have to maximize your health. So you need to sleep, you need to exercise, you need to diet, you need to have macro and micronutrients, and you also need to have, you know, kind of balanced or good testosterone levels for good erection quality. And with erection quality comes good blood flow to the area, okay? If you're interested in boosting your testosterone naturally, we have our Vitality. It is in stock on leviathansubs.com, soon to be on Amazon, okay? Medical science literature as to how and why it um, increases your testosterone. And the video is either out now or it's coming soon, okay? So what are some other tools? Well, there's things like tunica scraping, massage guns, like semi-erect bins, like all of these things are good. They're useful. I think there's science behind it. They're not for beginners, guys. You need to just figure out the bare bones basics first and then move forward with adding these th things in. Personally, that's my technique. I don't think you need to worry about like infrared or heat guns or any of that stuff yet. Okay, just gets the basics down. You will grow, especially the newbie gains are a very real thing. And then you can work your way up to other um, things. So what are some things to avoid? Heavy alcohol use. Alcohol in too much of a quantity is a central nervous system depressant, meaning the nerves that are supposed to fire to go to your penis to work will not fire as well. So you can have erectile dysfunction, hence the term whiskey D, okay? And also it can react with citrulline or even things like PDE5 inhibitors like um, Viagra, and it can actually drop your blood pressure to dangerous levels where you could actually be at risk of a heart attack, okay? So be careful with that. Nicotine, stop with nicotine. It's not good for you. And you know, I'm sure there's some pedantic guy that, well, nicotine actually has certain cognitive problems. Yeah, like, yes, in low doses, there are some cognitive benefits to nicotine. I understand that. But most people are abusing it with either vaping or with tobacco, and it is not good from the vasoconstriction. If you haven't seen my video going into detail why you need to quit nicotine and how harmful it can be, especially if you're doing enlargement, please check it out, okay? You need to avoid overworking. More is not better, guys. Have a routine, keep it basic, and stick to that. You do not want to injure your D, okay? There's nothing that's gonna be a setback in enlargement like breaking your D. You need to be aware of other medicines that you're taking, okay? Things like blood pressure medicine, antidepressants, and even you know some other medications can actually either interact with what you're taking, like citrulline, or it can actually lead to poor erection quality and orgasmia, like an inability to ejaculate um, itself. So you wanna avoid these types of drugs, okay? And they can mask an injury as well. You also wanna to avoid too much pornography, guys. Pornography is very detrimental, especially what it does to your dopamine system, and especially if you are prone to addiction, guys. Very harmful. If you haven't seen my video on pornography and dopamine, you should really check that out as well, okay? So in conclusion, guys, what are kind of some of my tips for beginners in a nutshell? Don't overcomplicate things when you're just starting off. Just learn the basics, guys. You need to use the freaking search bar. Stop being lazy and thinking of a question and just typing it right into the subreddit. Actually search the search bar because I guarantee you it's not an original thought. You might think it is, but I guarantee you somebody else has either thought about it or written a paper about it or written a post about it, okay? Find a technique that you think is going to work for you and is going to work for your lifestyle and read as much about it as you can, okay? Learn about how to do it correctly. What are some of the tips and tricks? What kind of injuries can result so you can be prepared for anything, okay? Please be careful and go slowly. You only get one D. Do not 
break it, guys. I do injury coaching for a, you know, a little side hustle, if you will, because I was getting overwhelmed with the messages. There, I have like 55 clients right now, okay? That's 55 guys with injuries to their D. So please don't be one of them and do this smartly and do this safely. You absolutely can do this without injuring yourself. Just because you do this does not mean an injury is guaranteed, okay? Please read as much as you can about the, all the different techniques, guys. You know, there's videos on it, guys. I've made videos. And then, you know, I make a video on it because people don't want to read the post. And then the video is too long. And they're like, oh, can't you just summarize it? Yeah, that would be nice. It's like, anyways, I'm, I'm being my old man. Get off my lawn, you kids. But BD has an excellent YouTube as well. He talks about a lot of the different sciences and a lot of the different techniques that work, okay? And if you're interested in a written version of this, one of our moderators, Red Maroon, uh, compiled a very nice print out of this. If I can, I'll put the link below, okay? But it's basically getting started an introduction into the sub is the name of the subreddit. At the very least, I'll put a screenshot here so you can search for that yourself. All right, guys, so look, this was the bare basics, okay? There's so much to it, but this should helpfully get you started and give you like a foundation to build upon, okay? This is for those guys that comment, I don't know where to start. I'm so overwhelmed. There's just too much information. Hopefully, I consolidated it here for you to make it makes some kind of sense and some kind of guide from which you can actually depart on your own journey, okay? If you need to reach me, Doc Hink at my Patreon, okay? I do not consider myself a PE coach, guys. I don't have enough experiences with the different techniques. I, you know, quite frankly, I've only been doing this for about three years. I know a lot about injuries. I know a lot about anatomy and physiology, okay? I know a lot about the science behind this. That I can help you with. We have LeviathanSupps.com for our vitality, um, for testosterone boosting, our virility for bigger loads, and then, of course, our vigor, our best citrulline, best you know, supplement that you're going to find, especially when we're talking about erection quality, okay? Please do your own research, form your own conclusions. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.